uh, Louis just said, I think I'm crying. And uh, yeah, you probably are. <laughs> Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome to a very, very, very special Fung Bros Makeover. Today we are making over not one, uh -oh. not two, nope. but four young gentlemen. Woo! First off, I gotta give a big shout out to Minimal for providing all the clothing for this makeover. It's a really dope brand based out of LA. Everything is designed here, guys. If you guys have not checked them out, look at the website down below. Minimal provides dope clothes at fair prices. So we got four guys. We're gonna split them into two teams, and then me and David are gonna have a contest to see which team is the freshest, and you guys are gonna help us determine that in the comments right down below. Let's meet the contestants today. Yo guys, bring them in, bring them in, come on. Are we doing the slide and pound? We doing the, we'll do the dap cam. My name is Aurelius and I came from the Philippines. I play basketball and I like James Harden. Hi, I'm Nate, I'm from Eagle Rock. I'm a majoring econ and philosophy. What up, my name's Louie, I'm from the Bay Area. Uh, shout out to the 510. I like to get saxing and play the saxophone. We got a young man right here, yeah. Kevla, AKA, from the Hoopin' Life channel. Everyone that knows me knows I'm a big sneakerhead, but I'm not too big in the fashion, so that's why I'm here. We got Aurelius and Louis, you guys are gonna match up based up on height. You guys are gonna rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. Wait, <laughs> yo, y'all were off beat. One, two, three. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I got you. One, two, three. You won, you with David. One, right, two, go three, one, two, get fresh. One, two, three. All right, everybody, on to the first step of the makeover. Let's go. All right, you guys, this is a brand new section of the makeover that we are incorporating, and it is the eyebrow threading. This is my first time getting my eyebrows threaded. I'm kind of nervous. Man, it definitely looks a lot cleaner, I'll tell you that. Yo, it actually looks pretty good, man. Yo, it looks good. Louis just said, I think I'm crying. And uh, yeah, you probably are. <laughs> All right, guys, we just finished with the eyebrows. Now we're gonna be going to the barbershop. They're gonna be getting their hair cut done and they're gonna be getting their clothes on for minimal. Let's go. All right, everybody, we have just arrived at Bishop's, which is a new barbershop in Pasadena. One thing that I'm excited about that they do here at Bishop's is they not just cut your hair, but they tell you about your hair, and they give you maybe some additional advice on how to style it. We're gonna just go ahead and start on the fade, and then from there, we're gonna go ahead and texturize the top. I gotta say, that fade is super clean. Andy, I gotta give you some props on that, bro. Thank you, my man. Crushed Thank it. You. Feeling different? Yeah, feeling different already, just based on the cut. I think just bringing in a real nice, tight, square sides, almost like a taper fade idea. I'll maybe keep the length up top to give them some of that ability to get a little gentleman's maybe come over. Shout out to any parents that cut their kids' hair, but does this feel a little bit different? I'm not gonna say there's yelling involved when I got my hair cut back in the day. <laughs> Nick's not but, yelling. Uh, it. Yeah, it's pretty nice. You know, I would keep the length a little bit so that he can style it a little bit. Do you think there's any uh, opportunity for a, a slight design, like a little swoosh or something? Yeah, yeah, I could put some design. I'll put a little Z in there. This part in which you should not get out of the chair without this happening is the sacrificial burn. Right here, my job isn't complete because I can't. Does it burn? Ooh. This stings a little. Yeah, yeah. And see, yeah. what do you think about his hair? Like, he's working with a pretty solid volume, right? It definitely looks like it needs some texture. Uh, Front, I take out these guys. These guys have like little holes in them, so when I go deep, it takes out the hair that's gonna fall to where it's gonna create, you know, more structure. All 
Okay, so that concludes step number two out of three steps of our minimal makeover. Man, you guys already look so different. Ooh. I've been saying this all day. Look good, feel good. I feel pretty good right now. Yeah, I feel great right now with the fresh cut. The hot towel and the straight shave um, was a pretty cool experience. I highly recommend it. Never had a design in my hair before, and I usually wear it down, so this is something definitely really new. So Minimal sent us some clothes, so we will get to see the total transformation taken from like where you guys came in all the way to you know the new final product. This is how we are determining the winner of the Minimal Makeover Challenge. All right, man, let's go grab their clothes real quick. I'm gonna hand it. All right, the guys are gonna go back there and change. Let's Ooh. go. Okay, Louie. 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 Okay, here's what I found for Louis. So I found him this trucker. Now truckers are pretty much where you layer the hoodie with the denim jacket. So this is only $78 for minimal. And then you got the long sleeve t-shirt with the raw cut at the bottom. The black baggy chinos here. And you know, you cannot go wrong with chinos. You know, what I, you know why I think this is good for Louis? Because everything from the hair to the trucker denim jacket is low maintenance. How do you feel right now? Because I know stepping into this, you had probably thought the least about style. I really, really appreciate this change. Um, it, it's, you know, it's a wake up call for me. It's like, hey, you're an adult. You should. Do you see your potential? I do, I do. All right. All right, you guys, we got Aurelius. Woo! Aurelius. The young fashion label owner. Uh, so for Aurelius, I decided to go with something that was really grown up even though he's in high school. I've got the camel wool coat in the camel colorway, obviously, for $136. And then underneath, we've got a basic stripe hoodie, and this is 50. If you really think about it, for a comparable piece, you're gonna be spending way more if you don't go check out Minimal. It's never bad to dress up. Everybody's gonna appreciate you or like, you know, give you, uh, you know, props for dressing up compared to be dressing yeah. down. Yeah. Right. This is one of those outfits where you are, you are trying. Like, right. you're trying to look fresh. How do you feel? I feel different right now because I don't really wear coats like this. It's so big, you know? All right, we got Nate here. <laughs> Woo! What we gave you was the split plaid hoodie right here. Now, this is different because, uh, you know, you don't really see this hoodie a lot. It's one way to stand out. We got the L132 denim right here. Now, this is different because it has the construction pocket right here. And it's even got... The clip. So you can tell that the jeans are a little bit more relaxed fit. It's a slightly baggy, but that's okay because actually that style's coming in. Yo, yeah. Last but not least. Y'all missing the whole yeah. thing. The lines on his head. Yeah. What are you thinking? Like you said, I like the hoodie. You know, it's kind of like that reworked patchwork. Um, and I like the jeans too. Looks like some of the like Japanese designers when they have lots of like, you know, buckles and stuff. Hey, I'm telling you, man, when people see those jeans on the street, they're gonna do a double take. What? Last but not least, we got Kevin Long. Kev. The, man, the man who fought off a hundred makeovers. Yo, Kev, how you feel? Man, like I've been saying all day, look good, feel good, I feel good. Yo, he, I've never seen Kevin smile so big in my whole entire life. He's like, the key piece in Kev's minimal outfit is this satin bomber jacket in olive green. It also comes in black. This is $98 for 98. This looks like it's way more, way in the hundreds of dollars. Yeah. Basic black hoodie is 50 bucks. Now you also got it on. It's very universal. He can layer it. He can wear it on its own. This is a t inside out shirt for 20 bucks on the inside. Then I've got black denim. They've got zippers at the bottom. But not only that, they've got a little bit of a waxy texture to them to give them that additional sheen. I actually really like that. You know what it is? Because it matches the shoes. Yeah, yeah I got the <laughs> Look how shiny Yo, those ones right are. Right kind of like a cream off-white on the shoes. They off like creamish mitts. Wow! Off, man, I just gotta look good, feel good, baby. For Nate's hair, the N was the big thing. I feel like for Kev, it's the E. The, the eyebrows. eyebrows. Zoom in on those eyebrows. Yo, yo, tell, hold on, hold on. Who made the biggest jump from where they started as far as looks wise and appearance wise, also taking into account like which style and which outfit you like the most? I will go with Team Dave. Woo! Team David. I'm from Kevin to Aurelius, you know, that's not a style they normally would do. I think Team A, the guys are able to upkeep it because, you know, it's a lot more simple. But I think overall, all the guys, you know, they made a huge, drastic change. We got my man, Tan Tan. <laughs> Reggie Lee. We got Rick Yoon. We got Ross Butler. You know who that is? No. Okay. <laughs> All right, everybody. Big shout out for watching that makeover challenge. Thank you so much to everybody in here. Big shout out to Minimal for providing the clothing. Guys, if you guys have not checked out the site, 
please click on the link down below. Um, they obviously have a lot of different styles. Everything's a very fair price. It's a great brand overall. And if you want 10% off of your purchase on the Minimal website, plug in our code FUNGBROS10, F-U-N-G-B-R-O-S-1-0. You'll get 10% off, check it out. In the comments below, let us know which team you thought had the best makeover, okay, and judge it on who had the biggest jump and which outfit you liked the most, Team A or Team D? Leave it in the comments below. We're gonna leave a little comment that you can vote on. Shout out to Kaya, Bishops in Pasadena, and especially Minimal for providing the clothing. I hope you guys like that. Give this video a thumbs up, and until next time, we out. Peace! Kev, give me a little something, a little cooler. Give me a little more swag. Yo, you, you know what you, you want, want, man? I, I, hands in the pocket, hands in the pocket. Hands in the pocket. Yeah. <laughs> Which who which mixtape get close? Smile at <laughs> yeah. Okay, like three, two, one. All right, all right. All right.